Welcome to Classified, where we take your favorite fandoms and prune them into the world of Dungeons and Dragons. In this series, we discuss Dungeons and Dragons or D and D classes, and where your favorite characters fit in. I'm Prey. I'm Shadu. This week, we are temp padding into the TVA in search of Loki. More specifically, the main characters as of se- the end of season one. Possible spoilers ahead. Let's get into it. Let's go. <laughs> let's do this thing. Did you have a hard time with your um Loki? With some of them, like some of them, I already kind of had in mind. Are they all just rogue? Just <laughs> rogue I mean, rogue, I mean, rogue, pretty much. Rogue, 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 rogue. rogue. <laughs> All rogues. All rogues. All rogue all the time. <laughs> They're all bards. They're all bards. <laughs> rogue bards. Rogue bards. Which is not a thing. We just made that up right now. Rogue bard multi class. That's a thing. We can multi class. Yeah, I guess we can multi class. That's true. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, you want to go first? I would love to go first. And Ooh. also, I'd love to not go first. It's, you know, I'm. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm pretty open to just about everything, but I will go first. It is Loki, our wonderful Lokester, the trickster god himself. Loki, Loki, Loki. The god of mischief. Have Loki will travel. Because he Loki does may, travel. may not travel, we don't know. Well, I mean, he does travel a lot in the first you, season of Loki. You, you may think you're traveling, but really you're not. Yeah, and then he goes to a place called the TVA. You know, it's, it, it's a whole thing. And it blows his mind. And he may not ever recover. Anyway. Yep. <laughs> so, Loki. I had Sorcerer for mm-hmm. him. Because okay. Okay. I felt like he has an innate, innate magic. Sorcerer's right. really innate magic, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. So, I, I, he has innate magic. I almost went with Bard. Um, but he does illusions, really. Like, he, his illusion game is on point. Mm-hmm. Like, period. It's on point. Yeah. Uh, like, he's magic. Pure and simple, he's magic. Yeah. So, I had to go with a magic thing. This is the first one that we've done where, granted, we've only done one. But right. <laughs> in that one, we took technology and made it. Right. Uh, in this one, the there is actually yeah, magic. There's magic in this so. one. So, we can say magic people do magic things. Exactly. Because it happens. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, I went with Sorcerer. Um, I said, he doesn't. When he doesn't have access to his magic, like mm-hmm. in the TVA, right. he find he tries to find a way to get out of the TVA so he can access his magic again. Right. So he can get away. That's like his thing. And so that's mm-hmm. why I was like, he's totally a sorcerer. So And sorcerers, they're charisma more than... Yes. Okay. So yeah, yes, and he's got charisma oh, too. Oh, so much. So, but oftentimes it goes wrong. Like... Yeah. Like I, that's why I thought maybe he was a bard because right, things I tend see, to go wrong. I could see bard him. too. No, yeah. that's a good. Yeah, that's good. No, I like. I think I think sorcerer is a good, is a good choice. Uh, I swear, not everyone uh, is a rogue, but Loki is. Uh, I went with <laughs> I went with arcane trickster rogue. Ooh, uh, partially arcane. because it has trickster in it. Huh? Ah, um, no, so. It's a lot. <laughs> and sorcerer isn't. <laughs> At least um, mine didn't say so the difference with, <laughs> The difference with arcane tricksters is uh, they're rogues that can do magic. Oh, that's true. They're rogues that can do magic. Okay. And I think the whole, you know, love is a dagger, all of that, very imaginary much... Dagger. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget imaginary. It's supposed to be an imaginary dagger. <laughs> right. Love's an imaginary dagger. <laughs> So, um, he uses magic to trick and kind of take down his opponents, uh, plus he's not the best person, literally the trickster god. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's, I think he's very much a rogue. With Arcane Tricks, you can do magic, they're very, uh, all about kind of illusion spells and things like that. That's very much a low-key thing. Oh, cool. So, yeah, Arcane Trickster. Okay, so, next up is... Sylvie, uh, who is... A uh, Loki variant, a female variant of Loki. Uh, again, I said possible spoilers ahead. Did you fall in love by the end, which is the most narcissistic and the most Loki thing I can think of? 
Absolutely. <laughs> and it's, it it's, absolutely is. And I feel like it would totally happen with me. And, and I love them both. I, yeah, they're, they're And awesome. if they want to they're express adorable. self-love together, that's fine. They're adorable, yeah. yeah it's fine with me. Um, and again, I swear that all of mine are not this, but I also went rogue. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, inquisitive rogue. <laughs> all of these are not rogue, I swear. If we keep saying the word rogue, rogue <laughs> from the X Men is gonna show gonna lose up all meeting. and kick our butts. <laughs> Inquisitive rogues are more about, uh, like they're more like detectives or mystery solvers, or something like that. So there's a, and they're very intelligent. So she is more intelligent and perceptive than most variants, uh, but also uses daggers and is definitely not heroic. Awesome. You go with. Awesome. I actually went with rogue. Hey! Opa! Yeah. That was so lame. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I said, like, she wants to stand alone. She and she's willing to do anything to get her mission goal completed. Like, she mm -hmm. real mission goal, mission goal. She will do anything to complete her mission. <laughs> and in that, and that, her mission is to take down the person that is pruning is in charge of the pruning of mm -hmm. people in the TVA. So, and she does complete she that does mission. She do that. Spoiler warning 101. Yeah, I do. Woo! All right. Yay. Okay, so the next one is Mobius. Mobius and Mobius. Mobius and Mobius. And um, I went with Bard. Wow. 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 Right. Mobius, he's a bard. And the reason I said that, he's a talker. From the moment Loki comes into the TVA that he can, he can get to him, he is trying to convince Loki to join him to take down another Loki. Mm -hmm. uh, and, like, by the end of it, they become best friends. Yeah. So, to me, that is, like, the perfect bard is almost like textbook bard. Yes, he knows how to fight. Yes, he has some tricks up his sleeve. But his main like weapon is his charisma and how he talks to people. So, uh, with Mobius, I went uh, a little different. A divination wizard. A divination wizard. Yeah, that was a little odd different. That's like a lot. Like, a little, that's like, a little different. Just that's, a little. That's like... A, a totally a different, different school of thought. It's not even adjacent. I mean, I guess they both do magic, so... Wool, wool, wool. Alright. All right. Um, so, um, divination wizards are wizards. Alright, moving on. No, uh, no. Divination wizards are wizards that are essentially all about uh, trying to find signs from uh, these from like extra planet forces or gods or you know demons or whatever they're trying to find signs to tell the future and to to gain secret knowledge mm -hmm. um but i definitely think having the kind of he can tell the future he's very concerned about about that i know that's most tv agents but much more he's more concerned about well how is this going to affect everything I, and he's more truth seeking. I he is think. more truth seeking. Yeah, which I, I think, think is that's kind really of a, it. Not everything needs to just stay the same. Right. It's At very first, truth seeking. He is, but the more he talks to right. Loki, the less he's like that. So Loki has an has an effect on him as exactly. well as him he's, having an effect. He on is Loki. he is a truth seeker and a jetpack seeker. Jetpack seeker. They fly now. They fly now. <laughs> uh, it's not just jet ski. It's jetpack. Jet ski. Jet ski. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, jump that shark. <laughs> jump that shark. All right. I guess I'll continue on with the next one. Yes. All right. We are on to Ravona Renslayer, uh, who has an amazing name. Yes. Um, so with Ravona, I went with an Order Cleric. I'm going to explain myself. Okay. Yeah, because I'm if like, If you can do really? Paladin for Rampart, I can do this. I'm still mad. Okay. okay. <laughs> no. Um... So, I say that she's a cleric because she is devoted wholeheartedly to He Who Remains. Okay, I could see that. And 
right. I would say that that he who remains king, whatever, is the closest we have to a god in this series. Uh, yeah, I could see it because Miss Minutes does it too. Um, she's very much right. Yeah, she's like I would say, closest like we have to a god. Almost, yeah. uh, and so she's very devoted to he who remains and his mission, uh, while being kind of an apologist for the TVA. Um, you know, kind of by the end of the series for their sins and all of what they've done. She's very quick to defend her god, essentially. Yeah. Um, she stands for order uh, and seems to value free will uh, with kind of kind of disdain, almost. Yeah. Um, and so it's this really... It's really interesting. It's all this order. It's order in sacrifice of everything else to serve her god, essentially. I like, I like it. I like it. That's what you have. All about good. order. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, order. I could see that with a cleric. What you say? She's, she's an order she's cleric. She's an order cleric. She's a okay, I could see that. Order domain cleric. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I like that. I didn't think about that. So, <laughs> I said paladin. You know, we we weren't actually... I mean, we, we were pretty far, close. Though. We weren't that far. No, that's not bad. Well, because I... And I said it's because she believes 100% in the timekeepers. Because she thinks the timekeepers are the ones that are in charge of mm -hmm. the sacred timeline. and But then when she finds out they're not, she, like, just automatically believes in whoever is behind it. Like, she's, like, 100% in there. So... Mm -hmm. Um, and although I do think that that will be explained in season two, we'll kind of find out why. But yeah, anyway, that's a prediction. That's a free prediction for you guys. Hey! Uh, but yeah, so I think she's 100% in that. She has a purpose and she feels righteous in her actions. Yeah. So she doesn't question the orders that she's given. And I that's think good. that's why I say Paladin for her. That's really good. Well, thank you. Nice. I okay. like both of those. It's, that's yeah. going to be the one I, I think we'll we're have on to a, fight I, about. I think we're on a similar wavelength, though, really. I do, t I think so, too. I mean, I think, I, and I think some characters lend themselves to that, too, so. Yeah. Next up, he, he who remains, remains. a.k.a. Kang. Hey. It's a Kang variant, because this whole season was about variants. And I said he, I said that he who remains is an artificer. So the reason I said that is because he uses technology. Like, he actually conquered time by using technology. I have conquered time. Yes, and space. He's basically a time lord. Or, well, he's the master, I would say, to Loki or Sylvie's time lord. Right. But, yeah. yes, I say Artificer. Um, actually, I think he might be the god artificer <laughs> like he would be the god that they would he's more than yeah in he's the forgotten realms yep there you go all right uh well i went uh, a little bit different and we're good sign is it <laughs> um i went with order of scribes wizard so basically order of scribes is they're all they're they use magic sure but they're more about recording and and like writing and they write scrolls oh, they write on the history you've done of this magic one before because i said something about yes. jocasta yes knew. she's yeah. yes jocasta knew so she'd be like in order in order to describe it exactly yeah. okay. um and so they're all about recording and writing down you know whatever needs to be written down all of history and magical innovation and all of that so i went with he only records and watches what new meaning when he needs to he also keeps the timeline in order to prevent further calamity I also couldn't miss an opportunity to make a Wizard of Oz joke. Okay. He's the wizard. We're off to see the wizard, the, the wonderful, wonderful wizard, wizard of, of time. And Loki. Oh, man, Loki. All right, so I have old Loki, uh, which, which, which did he grant? Um, <laughs> he prefers Look. Uh, more experienced Loki. Before I say this, I swear not all of them are wizards or rogues. However, I went with wizard again. <laughs> Look. Illusion wizard. No class fit this Loki particularly well, so I went with illusion wizard, due to his conjuring of an illusion to distract Elia. Uh, he is also very contemplative, however, and sees his purpose as teaching others to be better, uh, to be better. Loki's. Glorious purpose. Yes, glorious, glorious purpose. purpose. 
All right. All right. And so on my old Loki, or more experienced Loki, um, I said monk. Said monk. Now here's why. I said monk because he turns himself into space debris. So like he says that he had a similar uh, encounter with Thanos that Thanos didn't kill him, he turned himself into space debris, and because of that, I feel like he pro he went through, like, he has that concentration that monks would have, that he could keep that form, because he kept that form for a really long time, and then he was in hiding for a really long time, and didn't get caught until he wanted to be with someone, so I feel like he he's a monk, because he had to travel places, so he doesn't really have a home, uh, he... And he had definitely has the concentration and has honed his body to its pinnacle. I mean, he couldn't have done what he did to, you know, be the Elias. Hello, look, distraction. Um, he couldn't do that if he did not have control of his power. And now, we're probably one of the most adorable Lokis. It's Kroki! Or Alligator Loki. Right. As I'm pretty sure the MCU wants us to say that because he's an alligator right. and not a crocodile. So I said he's a druid because he's an alligator. Uh, he's in touch with the nature and he's very chaotic. So the wild magic is right there. That I said druid. Again, he is an alligator. Yes. So I went with Bard. No, no, I'm kidding. No, no, okay. <laughs> I went with Wizard. <laughs> wizard. I went with Rogue again. No. Yeah. Um, no, no, he's he's a druid. I went with Circle of the Land, uh, though, which is kind of like the basic druid. They're all about the land and, of course, swamp. Oh, okay. So Circle of the Land, you get to pick a land. Mm -hmm. So I went with swamp because he's, he's an alligator. Yeah, because there's circles, right? So it's yeah, like circles, Circle of yeah. the Order or Circle, circle of, of like... Wild Magic, Circle of flowers. Circle I don't care of cheese. Any of them. Circle of stars is one of them. Circle of wine. Circle of fun parties. You know, Circle of corgis. So, uh, yeah. So I went with a Circle of Land Druid Swamp. Oh, you're not sure. Is Team uh, Loki. Fancier. So, uh, I, I think I really pushed myself with this one. It's a really different answer uh, than I really think I usually give. Uh, no, I'm kidding. He's a wither. Um, so... <laughs> I swear they're not all wizards and rogues! <laughs> there have been other things! Conjuration wizard. They're all different wizard subclasses. How about that? Does that count? Conjuration wizard. He is a powerful conjurer in his own right and suffers fits of rage with a hatred for his family. Uh, he, again, he's a I teenager. I mean, that actually he's, he's is pretty yeah. textbook Loki as well. Right, I mean, exactly. I, I can't fault you for that. Um, so. Yet he believes that the ends justify the means, and his ends are always peaceful. He tries to make them peaceful. Yeah. It's his philosophy. Yeah. They're not always peaceful, certainly, but he's, he tries to. I went with Rogue. So my teen Loki would be a rogue. Uh, I said, aren't most teens rogues? <laughs> yeah, no, that's I, I mean, no, you're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so, I said he's a Loki, and he hasn't really gotten control of his emotions yet, so he's unpredictable and willing to do most anything to survive. So, and I felt like that was very roguelike. <laughs> All right. So next is boastful Loki. Oh, 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 oh boastful Loki. I went with barbarian. That's fair. That's, I mean, yeah. Like, he fights. That's fair. He's got the big hammer. He fights. He's got the armor. Um, and then he yeah. he does... He also goes into the... Into, like, what I'd call a rage. Like, Loki's... Uh, like, almost all Lokis are kind of angry at all times. Right. They, like, really kind of... I think they got that from the Hulk, but... Strongest Avenger. Oh. Yes, yeah, Strongest Avenger. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I but I went with Barbarian because he didn't seem like he really focused on his powers, and he mm. seemed like he was more on the Thor side than he was yeah. a true. He Loki. almost seems like a Thor variant. Yeah, like yeah, yeah I could see that. Say it. Your rogue, uh, Mastermind Rogue specifically. 
I swear this is the last this is the last one that is either rogue or wizard. So really I just thought that the whole, you know, kind of secretive manipulative aspect was was there. And yeah, he fights, he has his, his hammer and whatnot, but I think it's more to kind of advance his own position than anything else. So, yeah. Miss Minutes. Miss Minutes. <laughs> Is that your impression of Miss Minutes? Miss Minutes. No. Miss Minutes. It's hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. I'm Miss Minutes. I'm Miss Minutes. No, I can't. I can't do that high. That's the problem. Yeah. I can't do I know. that high. That's why I, I do. I can't. I went with a bard. Oh, okay. An eloquence bard, specifically. Um, she is very charming, I would say. But also incredibly we uh, in, blah, blah, blah. incredibly manipulative when need be. Uh, eloquence more because it's they're much more about kind of trying to uh, do things in creative ways or really uh, you know get to a better solution. My miss minutes is a warlock, y'all. Uh, she's well, you know everyone's favorite favorite clock made a deal with Kang, or he who remains, and now has access to his magic. Because I feel like she made a deal, whether she wanted to make it or not, and she's accepted it, and so that's why. And and warlocks are the ones that make the deals, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so I mean, they packs. yeah, they make the packs with somebody, and if we're saying, which we had said earlier, that we think that that he who remains might be like a god level type character, then he, then she would be making a deal with a deity. That would be a warlock. Yeah. So. That's a, that's, I went with a warlock. No notes. Yeah. No, that's okay. I, I really like it. Next. All right. We have my favorite hunter and your favorite hunter, B15. All right. So. Hunter B15. I put she was a ranger. I kind of feel like this is a no-brainer, even though the hunters are different. Uh, she really kind of embodies that ranger part of it, because she's a TVA agent, and she uses more than brute force. So that's why I said ranger. Nice. Well, I also said ranger. <laughs> I went with Horizon Walker Ranger. Horizon Walkers are all about essentially hunting down interplanar or multiversal threats. So. All right. So then we get on to another hunter. This time, Hunter C20. All right. <laughs> I went with uh, Battlemaster Fighter. I'll, I'll, I'll explain. She is capable of mastering most weapons, uh, but is very weak willed, a stereotype among. Fighters. Oh, okay. So I kind of went with. I couldn't find too much. Like her personality is it is there, but it's mostly being kind of weak willed. Yeah. Um. I, I don't know. I mean, I think it's more like that. Sylvie just gets into and her very like yeah to like deep kind of easily manipulated kind of a little yeah. bit. Yeah. yeah. Um. But also we see her in. I think it's the second episode where. They're at the Ren Fair mm -hmm. and everything, and she is she loses her uh, temp pad. Who, well, not her temp pad. The oh, the, the stick, the, the, baton, the pruning the, uh, stick. And she know. literally picks up a halberd and like, yeah, you know, starts using it. It's like that's a very battle master fighter thing. You know, you knock a sword out of their hand, they immediately go for a, a you know battle axe or something. It's the same kind of thing, where half weapon will travel. Exactly. She's very <laughs> she's very able to adapt well to a situation, I think that's a very fighter thing to be able to do. So, as as it may come to a shock to everyone, including myself, we have agreed again! <laughs> I picked fighter! <laughs> that just keep happening. Yeah. <laughs> that would actually be oh. cool. Yeah. I think we're getting better at it. Yeah, that's good. So, fighter. Um, she knows how to kick your ass and she's not afraid <laughs> to do it. Uh, she also likes fruity alcoholic beverages. Awesome. So All right. next is Casey. Casey. Casey was like the male guy. If you guys don't remember his name, he was mm -hmm. the male guy in that. And he um, 
I kind of stole their hearts. I picked Bard. Look, he's not good at fighting. He's not good at planning. And the way he survived things, I kind of feel like he's got some magic going he's got for some him. Magic. And uh, so, because I'm like, I am convinced that I don't know how he's still alive. So my answer is a bit of a stretch. I went with a knowledge cleric. I, I can explain. He is perfectly happy behind his desk. Casey is curious about the world and helps to keep his uh, helps to keep this knowledge in order so no one knows too much. That's a very knowledge cleric thing to do. Cleric only because he works for the TVA. He doesn't really seem to care too much about the politics. He's much more about like, okay, cool, this is what I'm doing, you know. So I would say a, kind of a casual cleric. A casual. I'm just a cleric, but casually. <laughs> just a casual cleric. Not professional. Uh, but knowledge, casual. because that's kind of his whole thing. He's got all this eldritch knowledge, and he's like, eh, okay. You know? It's, yeah. That okay. seems, again. I can see that. Like, he doesn't yeah. know the power that he wields, kind of thing. Right. It's one of those kind of things. So, it's, again, okay. it seems like a very cleric thing, where it's like, oh, I can do this? Man! <laughs> I, I didn't know about that! Alright, so. Uh, now for the Dungeon Masters. <laughs> and we're naming all of them different lists. So yes. this one is going to be called the TVA's Prune List. So we got Loki up at. first. Um, so I, uh, I said Trickster Rogue. You said Sorcerer. Hey, so you know what? Actually, I'm willing to give you Arcane Trickster Rogue. Okay. Because I think that that's more in line with him now. All right, so, um, so we both said Sylvie was a rogue, so we're good there. Then for Mobius, you said Bard. I said Wizard, the divination wizard, because half of mine are wizards. I think Bard. I like Bard because he still has magic. I, I like the I like I like the idea of Bard with Renslayer. You said paladin, I said paladin, I said cleric. you said cleric, and we said so that, that, similar. Was, that is very similar. And I, we both like honed in on the relig, like right. the, almost the religious, religious fervor she has right. for the, the, the TVA, the time, yeah, the zealotry she has zealot. for. Yeah. All right, I'll I'll cave on paladin. Uh, with Hugo Reigns, you said artificer. I said order of scribes wizard. Hmm. I don't. I get artificer. He doesn't, he's not one for making things, necessarily. I'm That's not going to argue for most of the wizard ones, but I think this one Yeah, I think wizard. wizard. Yeah, okay, I can so, do that. Then we have old Loki. You said monk. I also, I said another wizard. Monk is an, is an interesting choice, but I don't know. So, okay, so my thing with wizard is, is Loki's magic innate, or is it learned? I mean, I, I think I sorcerer, sorcerer works. Yeah. I think sorcerer is good. I feel like a sorcerer could cast something that would allow them to click space and freedom. Yep. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know? so, I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. I can do sorcerer. That's a. I think that's a. I good, think sorcerer is a good kind of balance. Yeah. yeah it's like a combo. All right. Then so croaky. croaky. We both three druid. Yep. Druid. What there else we could go. he be? Teen Loki. So you said rogue, and I said conjuration wizard. I'm I'm good with rogue. Okay, we can do rogue. I'm good with rogue. All right, we'll do rogue. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they all have magic. I was thinking Conjuration Wizard simply because it's a conjurer. We have both for Loki, which is... I said Barbarian. And I also said Rogue. And you said Rogue. <laughs> and see, I see, like, Teen Loki or Old Loki being a Rogue before I see Barbarian. Now, granted, he does betray them, so that, that is That's very mostly rogue. what I was going for, is that he backstabs them, and that's a very Rogue. Yeah. Thing. Though it kind of is a Barbarian thing, to be honest. Okay. So, right? Yeah, let's do rogue. Do we'll just do rogue. Yeah, I think rogue. We'll just do rogue. rogue. Okay. Yeah, rogue. rogue. We'll I mean, do rogue. I mean, we'll do rogue. rogue is just any. Wait, I mean, we could just do, do fighter. We we'll just do fighter. We could. Do you want to just do fighter? Just do fighter. Yeah, let's do fighter. Because I think rogue is good for the kind of mastermind aspect, but I don't. I think I think we need a balance. He's not balance the sharpest fighter. tool in the show. Very much no. Okay. He so carries a blunt weapon. Yeah. What do you think? There you go. Um, then we have Miss Manette. Thank you. Uh, I said bard. You said warlock. Well, because she made a deal. I feel like she made a deal with he who remains. I, I'm good with warlock. Yeah. I'm good with that. You think warlock? Okay. I think warlock. I think, yeah, making a deal. It's just so unusual. 
I it think. is unusual, but it, ma- the, it makes sense. It makes yeah. sense. All right. So the next one is Hunter B15. Hunter B15. You said Ranger. I also said Ranger. So, so Ranger. Ranger, Ranger. That's all I got. Ranger, uh, then Ranger. Let's Hunter go. Hunter C20. We both said Fighter as well. Put him up. Put him up. Put him up. <laughs> and then on. Casey's last one, you said Bard, I said Knowledge Cleric. <laughs> but I'm, you know, I'm willing to do Knowledge Cleric, because I do think that he yeah. does know more than he's saying, and I, mm-hmm. you know, I do think his intentions are good. He thinks he's doing a good job. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's it. All so right. we've got our complete We've got our Dungeon list. Master list. Uh, um, our list that's our TBA's yes. prune list, so if you're not on this list, you are down. <laughs> um, so we have Loki as Rogue, we have Sylvie as Rogue, Mobius as Bard, Renslayer as Paladin, he remains as Wizard, uh, Old Loki as a Sorcerer, Kroki as a Druid, Teen Loki as a Rogue, Boastful Loki as a Fighter, Mismance as a Warlock, Hunter B15 as a Ranger, Hunter C20 as a Fighter, and Casey as a Cleric. And that is Loki Season 1. I have been Shadu, uh, S-H-G-U. I am SHDU Studios on uh, here on YouTube and pretty much everywhere else. Uh, as well, I am on uh, Distance Nerding and Kyber Cave Productions fairly often, as is Frey here. And yeah. And I'm Frey Girl, uh, and you're watching my YouTube channel. Hopefully, hopefully this hasn't been pirated. Why would you pirate it? But yeah. okay. Uh, and I am Frey Comics on Insta and TikTok, and Frey, Con- Frey Girl on Twitter, because I refuse to call it the other thing. Uh, and yeah, and I also mod for uh, Kyber Cave Productions and Distance Nerding, uh, and yes, I am on, on a couple of their shows, so definitely give us... Uh, shout out there if you want and you know thank you for everyone from kyber cave productions and distance nerding who has helped us out with this and who has who's been our cheerleaders we appreciate everybody we you appreciate do. all the fans hopefully you're, you're probably coming from them yeah hopefully so, <laughs> so uh but, but hi yeah. <laughs> So, uh, thank you guys so much uh, for joining us for the second episode, and hopefully there will be more soon. Check out Journal of the Classes, which goes into telling you about the classes that we're going over now. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, if you want more knowledge about Dungeons & Dragons, and you're just getting into it, and you want kind of a little... um, tutorial for each of the classes you can check those out one at a time and you don't have to watch them in any particular order they're just about a specific class so yeah and that's it thank you guys so much yes thank you so much enjoy your time away until next time until next time on class class